Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vito Studio and today a quick video to share with you that new callout that we just added to our free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, you can download the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. Once you've done so, you'll get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to replace it with. So just select all the font and then double click on them to start the installation process. Or you can copy and paste them into your font folder if they're on your Mac or on your Windows computer. But if you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, there is no need to reinstall the font. Just install the TRFX file and that will be good. So once that's done, you can just double click here on the TRFX file. It will prompt open this window. If you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, it will ask you to overwrite. And if that's the first time, it will ask you to install. So just click either one of those. And now let's jump inside of DaVinci Resolve. All right, so once you've updated the pack, you can go over to Effect, then Title, Video Editor Studio, and then here you can just scroll down to the free starter pack and you will find the callout in Essential. Right here, you have the all-in-one callout. You can then just take it and drag it in your timeline over your clip, for example. And if you play it right now, you might drop maybe a few frames. A quick uh, way to go around that is simply to go over to Playback and then here in Run the Cache, Make sure that it's not select in none, but select smart. That will basically here bring that bar over the title and that's gonna automatically cache in in the background the title. So when the bar is going from red to blue, you'll be able to play the title without any frame dropping. So as mentioned in the name, all in one callout, as you can see, you can do quite a lot with that callout. Here in the drop down, you can choose from one line, two line, three line, an image, an image with text, number, and percentage. So you have quite a lot of things that you can do. And let me show you how to do that in the inspector right now. So first off, we have the overall animation length in seconds. So that's the animation in and the animation out. By default, it's one second, but you can change that to two, three, four, five seconds, etc. You can then just choose the style that you like, for example, here, just going to go back to one line and then we have the overall size and position of that callout so you can just place it wherever you would like i'm just going to bring here a clip in my timeline so we can use that as an example and here for example i'm just going to place my callout over that dollar bill you can then also increase the size or decrease the size of the callout and you can also adjust the angle if you wish to at any moment, if you want to reset the parameter, you can just double click on it and it will reset it to the default value. Then the next drop down is the line control. So here you can make some adjustment to the line. For example, the width of that line. So here, if you decrease that, you're going to get a thinner line. If you increase it, you're going to get a thicker line. So that's pretty straightforward. Then we get the target point. Here you can move around the target of the callout. You can also move the design point. So that will be the other end of that line so right here the one from the text then here that width is going to be the width of the line that is at the border of the text and then here you can also change the color of those lines so here we can make it red for example and we have basically those two lines not being red then we have the center control which is basically the control over the target so you can play around here with the stuffed edges if you wanted to have something that is a bit blurry you can also adjust the size by increasing it or reducing it. You can also adjust the corner radius to get something other than a square or just rounded the corner of that square or getting a full circle right there. You can adjust the angle. So here, if I were to go back to the square and just go, for example, here to zero, we're going to have a square that is straight. And you can then choose the color. So for example, here, we could just go red as well. And we'll have entire line and target that is red. Then next drop down is here the text control. There is quite a lot of things because it basically encapsulates uh, all the different callout in one tab. So for example, here we have three line um, and you will recognize quickly here the first line being black magic design. So you have the overall font, color tracking, uh, position, opacity, etc. And as you can see right here, the background is auto adjusting. So if I were to delete design right here, 
as you can see the background is adapting automatically to whatever is written within that box so you can just add whatever you want and uh, the background will be adjusted automatically right now by default it's square but here you could just round up those corner um, to make it look a bit more modern and a bit more sleek in my opinion even though the background is added automatically, you can readjust the size between the border of the text and the border of the background. So here we can extend it horizontally and we can extend it uh, vertically to just give it more space. And then we can uh, reframe that by just adjusting the overall position of that text. As I said, by default, there is a background, but if you wish to remove that background, you can just here slide the opacity all the way down and the background will be removed. You can also change the overall color of that background. So right now by default, it's gray, but yeah, you can go for like any other color you would like. You can even just go over here for a gradient. So right now the process is the same for each of those texts. So you can just play around and recreate your own design right there. Then for the collab with an image, we can just switch right here to image and we're gonna just close the text control and go to image instead. And then here, I'm gonna browse and I'm gonna bring an image automatically that's just gonna take the shape of that image and we can then adjust the overall position of the image. So here, we're just gonna recenter it properly. Here we go. And we can adjust also the size. So if you want to reduce it a little bit, we could just reduce it and then readjust once more the position. Then the next tab is for the number and percentage. So pretty similar to everything that you see in text control. Here we can switch for number, for example, um, and you can switch to any number you like. Um, the only thing is that the background is not going to adapt automatically on this one, but you can easily here, uh, for example, increase the size of uh, the background and then reposition it and reposition the text as well. So right there and then the last few details that you can customize are here the shadow and the glow so you can add a drop shadow so here we can increase the strength of that drop shadow so it pop up and you can see it you can adjust the overall drop angle we can adjust the drop distance of that shadow and we can adjust the blur so here if you increase the blur as you can see that shadow is going to be more diffused so you can just play around with those things to just create the look that you want then we also have the glow. So here you can increase the threshold and the gain to just create your glow effect. Then if you increase the glow size, it will basically increase the spread of that glow and making that glow more diffuse. And then the blend will be the overall uh, opacity and strength of that effect. So if you want to just pull that back down a little bit, you can just pull out the blend and it will be a bit less pronounced on the title. And then the last one is the background. By default, the opacity is at zero. And if we increase the opacity to one, as you can see, we have solid. Um, so right now we can just put it at, let's say, half, and it will basically dim uh, your footage to help your callout stand out. Then there is a lot that you can do with that background. For example, here we could invert it and reduce the width a little bit, reduce the height, and then here play around with the soft edge to create a vignette. And then you can just play around with the position of that vignette to draw the focus uh, to the callout itself. So anyway, there is a lot that you can do with that. I'll let you experiment with it. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of author title we should create next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.